have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a digital whammy bar? Possibly, possibly not. Honestly, it had never even crossed my mind until I found out about this product and I've been absolutely fascinated ever since. <laughs> Pretty sure that this is the stuff of Tom Morello's dreams. Um, this is Virtual Jeff Pro. Jeff! You heard correct. Jeff, and this is a digital whammy bar. Virtual Jeff Pro came along when creator Peter Walker started questioning the cons that come with traditional whammies such as big speeds, Floyds, or just the regular trem system that you get on a Fender Strat. Traditional whammy systems have enabled guitarists to really explore vast creativity over the years, but it has to be said that there are a few things that are a bit annoying when it comes down to whammies, like tuning stability. Whenever I use my whammies on any of my guitars, I'm normally smashed out of tune pretty quickly and then you've also got the wear and tear that your guitar faces, particularly on the hardware after, you know, using the whammy bar and really taking it for a ride after a long period of time. So basically Peter started wondering what it'd be like to have a digital whammy system, something that you can install on any of your guitars, even acoustics, and something that doesn't alter the tension in your strings, therefore resulting in better tuning stability and less wear and tear on your guitar. So as you can see, I installed Virtual Jeff Pro onto my Fender Strat last night and it was really quick and really easy to do. And to my absolute relief, there were no holes and no tools necessary for the installation process. It simply sits on your guitar with a custom adhesive and it actually holds really well. They basically designed it so that it can sustain the sweatiest and hottest live gig environments. Um, and it's also safe for all guitar finishes too. So you don't need to worry about any paint or lacquer or anything like that coming off. In Peter's words, Virtual Jeff Pro was never designed to replace Big Speed. Floyd Rose, Strat Whammies, any of the traditional whammy systems. He simply wanted to add another flavor to the arsenal of pitch devices. Also, the fact that you can install this system to guitars that would otherwise have no means of being able to host a whammy is really cool and really, really unique. Ironically, I have installed it to one of my guitars that already has a whammy system, but they are very different and unique in their own ways. <laughs> Virtual Jeff Pro comes with a stomp box and this is where all of the control comes from. It's completely transparent so it doesn't touch your guitar tone whatsoever. You just smash it first in your signal chain and you're good to go. A really cool thing about the stomp box is that it gives you two sides. You've got side A and side B and in these sides you can set your own specific parameters. So let me use this in an example. Say for the most part of a song that you'd like to have some really gentle, subtle whammy, you can program that on side A so that it doesn't shift too far away from its natural pitch. Whereas at the end of the song, this is where you want to go absolutely nuts and show off all of your party tricks. You can set it so that you go up a whole octave and down two octaves right at the end or anywhere in between. And this basically gives you the freedom to both have your subtle whammy and your party trick whammy stored in one place. And you can switch between the two seamlessly by stomping on the switch. <laughs> Both 
the up and down movements on Virtual Jeff Pro can be set individually. For example, you could go a whole octave up when you pull the whammy back, or you could just go two frets down when you push the whammy down. You can come up with all sorts of cool combinations with this, also things that complement the key or the scale that you're in. These settings are remembered when Virtual Jeff Pro is powered off. You also get Virtual Capo. Now this is really, really appealing to someone like me who doesn't have a seven or eight string guitar. You can basically program it so that your residential tuning is higher or lower than what your guitar is normally tuned to, giving you easy access to capo tunings and drop tunings. I stumbled across was the hold feature. Now you can either dip your whammy or raise your whammy halfway through playing, press hold, and then it will kind of select that as the new tuning, allowing you to almost change key without actually changing your hand positioning whatsoever. So you can kind of like jump between custom keys, custom tunings in that way too. <laughs> Virtual Jeff Pro also comes with this really sweet little unit called Mini Link, and this essentially allows you to play wireless so that you simply plug into Virtual Jeff, strap it to your guitar strap, put it in your pocket, and then you've got 25 plus hours of wireless playing. <laughs> Also plug directly into the stomp box to still use Virtual Jeff when maybe you don't need to be wireless or when the Mini Link is charging. Mini Link doesn't use Bluetooth. Virtual Jeff has its own 2.4 gigahertz protocol to get true real-time performance. This is to avoid latency, which would essentially mess everything up. Blend mixes the original guitar with the pitch guitar, and with this you can create your own custom chorus sound, which is really cool, and you can also use it to stack harmonies on top of each other too, using the virtual capo function. And hold freezes the pitch right in its tracks. is Virtual Jeff Pro and what a unique piece of gear. Um, I was really excited to do this because I've never done anything quite like this so this was really a lot of fun for me. Virtual Jeff Pro retails for around $500 and if you'd like to find out how and where you can get one head to the links in my description and uh, get yourselves one because they're really, really cool. <laughs> I posted it on my Instagram story last night as soon as I'd installed it and I got like a hundred messages from you guys asking me what the hell is that? Um, it's Virtual Jeff. As you can tell, I really like it. I've had a lot of fun with it and I'm all for creating really wacky sounds. I don't have a digital whammy pedal uh, or a Floyd Rose or a seven or eight string guitar. So 
These are all things that Virtual Jeff can kind of like help me to explore more and I'm really excited to do some songwriting with it because it's kind of like expanded my mind and all of the possibilities that I would normally consider when songwriting if that makes sense so I'm not usually a gadgety person so I normally almost turn my nose up a little bit at this but it's just unique and it's different and it's so cool and it's so accurate too there's no latency issues, it's a really solid product. The stomp box is really solid too, like all of the components are really, really high quality and I've been super impressed by it. The only one thing I will say, and it's not really a criticism, but I'm gonna mention it nonetheless, is it would be cool to have um, a function in future on the stomp box for being able to switch the parameters around um, without actually needing to get down and press it with your fingers. Just if you're on stage, like in the middle of a song and need to switch what you're using, it would be nice to maybe have that in switch form, but at the same time, you've got the A and B so that you can explore at least two different kind of options seamlessly, like within a song, if that makes sense. So not really a criticism. That's just me being like ultra picky. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I'd just love to say a really big thank you to Peter and the team for hooking me up with this insane product because I really would have never even imagined it existing had they not have reached out to me. And it was so much fun to play around with today. If you enjoyed watching this video, please smash like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see me play with this insane, piece of gear. I, I could do so much with it and I'd really love to know what you guys would like to see me play. Anyway, that's all for today guys and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!